This is a bit of a different video because the smartphone sitting in this box right here is a world exclusive and just as a bit of a cherry on top, hasn't actually been released yet. The phone is gonna come out this December and safe to say it's a little different. Let's get it open. Okay, so I can't take out the phone and show you the full device yet, but there are three really interesting aspects that we can talk about. The first thing that stands out here is this glowing circle, part of what they're gonna call the lunar ring design. And as we've seen LEDs before, this is likely to have the potential for other features too. For example, glowing to signify notifications. There's a display on this side too, which I can't show you just yet, but when we flip the phone around, we've got another one. So this leads us on to point two, We've got dual displays, and this could mean a lot of cool things. First of all, you might be able to take selfies with the full blown rear camera, and you no longer need a front camera at all because you've got this better one on the back. So you can have a full screen on the front without the need for any kind of notch or pop-up camera. And on the subject of cameras, there are three. So this is the first time you'll be able to take selfies with a triple camera setup. We very well might see a special type of camera on this phone called the time of flight camera. If we do see this, it could fire out pulses of light and use the time taken for them to return to map out objects up to three meters away. Some applications could be scanning and recreating entire objects digitally, applying virtual clothes for you to wear, and even tracking gestures performed in the air. So it won't be long before you can see the full phone, but in the meantime, it'll be interesting to see how many things you can get right. I've sprinkled clues throughout this video, so let's see who can use them to guess the brand and potentially what features this phone might have, whether or not you think it's a phone successor or a new phone in its entirety. And do you think it's a budget phone, a mid-range, or is it a flagship? But just bear in mind that this is a prototype and that it's possible things could change with the final version. Okay, so unfortunately that is it for now, but this is a pretty cool one. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you in the next one.